What is going on everybody? My name is Matt and today I'm going to be playing some more Liberal Crime Squad and actually this is a different version I think. Um, I don't know, this is a file I found over on the forums and it was called National Crime Squad and you're supposed to be able to travel a little bit. Hopefully I clicked on the right one and so I, I figured I'd try, to try a new adventure. I'm going to go much more uh, slowly this time because I tend to screw up when I'm going too fast. I'll all of a sudden I'll click and I'll run into somebody and I don't know, I'll, I'll be attempting to break down a door while there's a guard standing right there, all because I was clicking the buttons too fast. So I'm going to take this particular playthrough nice and slow. Uh, we're going to take our time. We are going to play classic mode. Uh, no conservative crime squad, at least doesn't start with one. And we're going to, let's see, hit national LCS. So advanced play across multiple cities. Um, I've never done this before. I really have no idea what is involved with it. Um, I loaded up a game a couple minutes ago and I left, I hadn't ticked this off and I was able to travel to only the White House. So that was, you know, not too much different at all from the, from the base game. So I'm going to go ahead and click this off and we are also going to do, let's see, Democrat mode. I hit the wrong button, so I guess we're doing Elite. All right. So, let's see. We're going to do a mail. Um, let's just, I'm going to hold down A for a little bit. Donovan, why not? Donovan, and what is his last name going to be? No, I can't even say that. Donovan Tell. All right. Donovan Tell. And we're, I'm going to let fate decide. We're going to do a completely randomized character. Uh, let fate decide. I'm going to go ahead and read through the history of Donovan Tell for you guys. And then we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to keep these videos. Like I said, uh, it's, it's definitely going to be a slower game, but I might make the videos longer. I haven't decided yet. So we'll just see. Uh, probably right around where I'm getting tired talking, I'll just go ahead and end the video. So this first video might be long, might be short, who knows. So let's go ahead and read this. So it's, um, of course, insight into a revolution, my traumatic childhood. The day I was born in 1984, the Polish priest, uh, whatever, <laughs> was kidnapped by government agents. I should be able to pronounce that. Um, my doctor, the doctor said I was a boy. My parents named me Donovan Tell. When I was bad, my father lectured me endlessly trying to make me think like him. In elementary school, I was unruly and often fought with the other children. When I was when I turned 10, my parents divorced. It still hurts to read my old diary. In junior high school, I was into chemistry. I wanted to know what made the world tick. Things were getting really bad when I stole my first car. I got a few blocks before I totaled it. Well, I knew it had reached a crescendo when I tried wrestling for a quarter, desperate to fit in. I was only 15 when I ran away, and I let people pay me for sex. I needed the money to survive. Life went on. On my 18th birthday, I bought myself an assault rifle. For the past few years, I've been a violent criminal. Nothing can change me or stand in my way. I live in Seattle, Washington, and it's about to experience a real change. And of course, this is the the same introduction that I believe every game starts with, but I'll read it anyway. So the year is 2009. It's a new conservative era. Conservative President Harry Valdez ends his second term with approval ratings in the high 70s and is succeeded by hardcore arch-conservative Steve Critchley. With conservatives sweeping into power in the House of Representatives and the Senate, and a conservative majority in the Supreme Court of the United States, commentators are hailing it as the beginning of a new conservative era. President Steve Critchley has asked the new Congress to move quickly to rubber stamp his radical arch-conservative agenda. The left seems powerless to stop this imminent trampling of liberty, sanity, and justice. In this dark time, the liberal crime squad is born. And what do we want to be known? And of course, um, I'm going to leave our just general name so donovan tell and just because of the way the character was randomized we actually start with a bit of a group here so we have fabio arnez or arnaz i don't know robin redford arthur dench and harry dante so let's go ahead and just check out everybody's skills just as we're starting out let's see what donovan is working with here 
some martial arts, pistol rifle science. Um, okay, all stuff I could work with, obviously, still with very low juice, so there's some promise there. Um, Fabio. Oh, and everybody's got some low, very low juice, so actually some of these might end up pretty, pretty high skills here. Street sense, rifles, pistol, shotgun, street sense. Oh, we have somebody knows first aid. That's actually pretty useful. And he's got a little bit of tailoring. You guys know me. I like to make my money tailoring. So that actually, we might use Arthur to kind of just hang out. He'll be like a medic and he'll start tailoring. We'll obviously uh, get some more tailors. We'll free them from the garment factory. And Harry Dante has some knife skills. Okay, so we we should have some uh, some interesting players here. Um, yeah. All right. I think the first thing we want to do, oh man, we only got $7. Do we have like any equipment or anything? No, we have nothing. Everybody's got a cup. Everybody has a weapon though. Wow. I mean, we could just like go kill people and that could get everybody's juice up because everyone's starting a negative juice and I, I want to try to get those up because I would love for these other uh, players, these other guys, to be able to recruit their own members, and that way Donovan Tell, our our fearless leader, can kind of stay separated from the rest of the group. He can be a uh, nobody will know him. It'll be like that boss, um, that I don't know, like the Godfather, that nobody really gets to talk to. You you know, you only talk to your direct superior. So um, that's kind of where I want to try to get this. So maybe, ah, uh, but I want Donovan's juice to go up as well. I'm really torn. I don't think I want anybody. Let's make sure everybody's dressed. Yeah, everybody's wearing clothes. Um, Let's just go see if we could steal, steal some stuff. We don't have a car, so I can't actually travel to a different city. I'd love to see what that actually does right now. But let's go downtown. Let's just go and start breaking into some apartments. No, instead of downtown, let's go to the University District, the Matthewson Apartments. And let's go ahead and just kind of, I don't know, do some... Whoa. Oh, because we're carrying weapons. That wasn't a good idea. Let's fight the Army Veteran. He's dead. All right. Um, we'll grab the loot and let's get out of here. Um, I did not think that through properly, huh? So, let's go ahead and look at these rule. Uh, not the rules. Let's look at the laws. That's what I meant. Let's look at the laws. What's going on in this world? Um, most things are conservative, aren't they? Gay rights, flag burning, and women's rights are all liberal. Where do we have gun control is conservative, so why can't I carry around weapons? That's strange. Um, all right, yeah, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on there. But it's okay. We're at the crack house right now, so we really don't have to worry about heat or anything. Um, anything too crazy, because nobody really pays attention to the crack house. Later on, we'll go ahead and build up the uh, the packing plant. And the homeless shelter? Is that that's the other safe house? I thought there was another building there. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting to remember. So now when we want to sell stuff, we go we actually go to the industrial, and that's where the pawn shop is. I'm gonna have to try to remember that. Um let's uh, alright, so I need to actually get all these guys unequipped. Is what we need to do. Let's take all their weapons out. Now let's go ahead and do some, we'll do some just good old breaking and entering, I guess, downtown because the university apartments are actually closed for now. We couldn't get in that door. Let's just try to pick these locks first and see if we could get in anywhere. And then if we can't, that's when we'll try to kick some doors down. Okay. Whoa. I should, I actually, ooh, I should go buy some spray paint cans is what I should do. And the conservatives are suspicious. 
I don't have any money to buy spray paint cans, though, do I? All I have is $45. I don't know how much spray paint is. Let's go ahead and check that out. Let's go to the pawn shop. And buy, we need tools is what we need. Spray paint is $20 a can. Holy crap. Wow. Um, Because that usually gets you up pretty high. All right, let's, let's buy two cans. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I could, like, break these guys up into groups of two. I could do teams of two, and we could just, uh, or one, well, not team, two, a team, you know what I mean. Let's not, let's not do that. Let's just go ahead and give two guys a spray paint, and then we can go, and you know, then we could just swap them out once their juice is high enough. Let's go back to the Boyd Apartments. And I'll do some breaking and entering. Actually, we'll just spray paint as well. Make sure nobody is... Uh... Oh, whoa, whoa. See? I'm going nice and slow this time. So I'm not going to have to worry as much. We're, they're suspicious, so I'm going to go ahead and get out. What do we have going on here? The Liberal Crime Squad is struck again. The events took place at the Boyd Apartments. Further details are sketchy, but police sources suggest that the LCS engaged in vandalism. So we're already making a name for ourselves, but really this is starting out too slow for me, but I guess this it's the best way to do it. Um, all right, so Donovan already has 21 juice. I can get him, I can get everybody up to 50 with the, with the spray paint, but then they're on their own. Oh, and everybody's juice is going up as well. That's actually a good thing. Um, although, is Fabio's not going up with the spray paint? Um, we need to test that again. Let's see. Where have we not spray painted? Okay. So let's pull up Fabio here. His juice is nine. Let's spray paint. And then check him again. His juice is 10. Oh, but everybody's juice is going up, even though they don't all have spray paint. That's awesome. I don't know if that's a glitch. Um, I, I don't know. I might have to write that on the forums and see if that was uh, meant to be like that. It's probably a mistake, but we're just going to run with it. All right. Um, Seattle, Washington struck again. Yeah, and vandalism, blah, 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 blah. All right. Um, this is probably going to get kind of repetitive, guys, but we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. Break into some apartments. Let's grab the loot. I found a PDA, and let's uh, do some spray paint inside the apartment. How would you feel if you came home and the door to your apartment was just busted open and somebody spray painted? They didn't just steal stuff. They spray painted on the walls. That would be pretty unnerving, I would imagine. They're suspicious. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Um, breaking and entering, further details are sketchy, yeah, theft, vandalism, and breaking and entering, so we're really on the radar now, and I, I was gonna go ahead and sell that PDA, get some more cash, but if everybody's actually building up juice, I'm not gonna bother, and I really, who did I say, I said Arthur, right, tailoring a five, but then I saw Fabio had tailoring six or seven as his max. So I might have both of them working on clothing. We're going to have to find out. Let's go ahead. We're going to keep going. Keep going with this. Obviously, there's plenty of spray paint in these rooms. Oh, and there's some loot. Do I run in? Let's do it. Oh, they're alarmed. Even though that was a liberal in there. It was a prostitute. But she clearly did not like us breaking into her uh, apartment there. All right. Um, let's see if we can get back in there. And now there's nothing there. So we missed out. We'll go ahead and do some spray paint. Check everybody's 
juice again. I could just run up and down these these hallways and spray paint. Is probably the fastest way to do it. This is great. Usually I spend the first uh crap. Fashion designer. Can we like sneak away? Nope. This is bad if we run into um, some type of security. Just gonna go nice and slow so I don't miss anything. All right, we made it out. Um, I think we killed somebody. I don't know. Somebody got hurt though. Or not. Everybody looks like they're fine. That's awesome. Okay. Great. Donovan's almost at level fifty. So what was I saying? Oh, I was saying normally I I kind of waste these first couple days in the game. I mean, we're only 11 days in, but usually I waste them trying to find new recruits and you, your leader has to, you know, really talk them into joining. And this is, is kind of nice starting the game with a, with an already, you know, with a squad already in place. Um, it's definitely different. They got high security at those apartments. How's the university though? The university apartments are fine. They don't care about us anymore, so let's go ahead and do some breaking and entering. Oh, there's a hippie. So, yeah, these college kids don't really care about uh, the security in their apartments as much. Let's just spray paint this hallway, go nice and slow. Crap. Um, it's okay. That's nobody that could really hurt us. Holy sh Why does the magician have a gun? We got away. I need to see who's hurt now. Harry Dante is shot. That's not a good thing. Um... Oh, but we do have, let me see. All right, I'm going to, I guess I'm going to have to start breaking this up. Let's first and foremost, let's take our leader out of the crime squad. Let's make a new squad and we'll call it, uh, I don't know, fearless leader. So our fearless leader is group B and that's just Dante, uh, Donovan Tell. And then in the crime squad, we have Fabio, Robin, Arthur, and Harry. Arthur is the one that knows some first aid. I'm wondering... I'm wondering if I could just leave him there. Where we activate Arthur. That's what I wanted to do. And now heal. Oh, it looks like he's already set to heal. Let's just wait a couple days. I mean, it doesn't say he's dying or anything. He, it's probably going to heal on its own. Let's take him... Uh, Alright, let's just take him out of the squad for now as well. Just so that nothing too bad happens. Yeah. Alright, and then we'll send everybody back to the university apartments. They're now the Ashmore apartments. And there's some stuff in here. Whoops, I'm hitting the wrong button. Cheap jewelry and what? Silverware. I was hitting the spray paint button. I was like, why is he not picking anything up? Let's go ahead and run out of here. Um, all right, so they all have 51. Is this another glitch? Can I keep going above 50 with spray paint? Oh, no, you know what? It was breaking and entering. That's why it went above 50. Spray paint will only go to 50, but then breaking and entering and killing people and all that other kind of stuff also raises the juice. So I wasn't fully paying attention, but I get it. I get it. Don't worry. I understand what's going on. Um, Tailoring six. I, I really, I'm looking for the tailoring. Tailoring of eight on Fabio. I You guys know I like that because I always see that as a great moneymaker early in the game. I get a whole bunch of people working on... Um, 
actually creating clothing and then sell it for awesome profits. And then you can kind of do whatever the heck you want after that because you have plenty of money coming in and you can just have like a set amount, maybe two or three guys working on making clothes and the rest of your your squad could do whatever you want them to do. They could be breaking and entering. They can be um, seducing people, bringing in new members. They can be uh, writing and stealing credit card information, all that other kind of stuff while you're making money guaranteed from clothes because then you just you know go down to the the pawn shop and sell all the clothes that you make and of course you have nice clothes for your new members and all that kind of stuff so i really like to do that but this has already been a 20 minute video so i'm going to go ahead and stop it there but um i want to thank you guys for watching um i don't know what i'm going to call this probably the story of donovan tell or something like that so this is national crime squad although we haven't seen any of that yet so it's still just like the normal, basic liberal crime squad. But um, I guess eventually we will be able to travel to other cities. Of course, that is only if I survive long enough. Um, I don't have a great track record with surviving long with this game. Hopefully, um, my plan is to just take everything slow. Um, you know, just hit the keyboard nice and slowly. That way I don't miss any encounters that um, could be dangerous because you already saw I, I did it once but I got lucky I spray painted right in front of that amateur magician who just happened to have a gun I got lucky that I got off without anybody actually dying but now we have a wounded team member so I'm gonna end the video there I want to thank you guys for watching make sure you stay tuned for part two of the story of Donovan Tell I'm gonna flip the screen you'll see the other stuff to click on until next time